physical or anatomical isolation is a pre-mating barrier which occurs when a physical uncorrespondence of participants' reproductive organs is present. Throughout this video, we will endeavour to educate and inform using a wide and diverse range of structural isolated mechanisms using scenarios and analysis. It just doesn't fit. I don't know the game really yeah. 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 You don't like the It just doesn't fit. Oh. It just doesn't fit. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna fit. It's not a match. And then you go and enter. A match. <laughs> so as we can see, when two species become so genetically different that their organs just don't match up, mating cannot occur. Ah, Takapuna Grammar, a precious ecosystem teeming with life. From the grassy slopes of the back plains to the densely populated core where a diverse range of species migrate to interact. The Takapuna Grama region is a sanctuary within its own. Here we find many fascinating examples of isolation mechanisms. Today, we're searching for a very elusive Handpithecus bullrobuscus, also known as the handballer. He shows a, magnific a magnificent example of a very interesting pre-mating barrier called temporal or seasonal isolation. An agile and athletic species, the handballer uses this ritual as a test of male dominance and skill. We also see the Devlatoma bifocaris attempt to initiate the mating process in a display of courtship towards the dominant male. However, during this midday period, the handballer is entirely uninterested. The Devlatoma bifocaris attempts to... attempts are futile and somewhat pathetic as a mating season of the two breeds are temporarily separate.
Once upon a time, there was a snuggle bunny. It lived with lots of other snuggle bunnies. The population quickly multiplied. The population originally lived here. Later on, they decided to move somewhere else because of overpopulation. A small percentage of the population decided to migrate. Here we see them migrating from here to somewhere else. They quickly established themselves as a new population. A volcano exploded between here and somewhere else, blocking any gene flow between the two populations. This was a geographic isolator. Responses to dietary changes in somewhere else causes the species to evolve over time through natural selection as some individuals are better suited to the new diet than others. In this case, we see the strengthening and elongation of teeth over time. This, along with other adaptations to the new environment, eventually causes the formation of a new species. The original population and the new species are unable to produce viable offspring due to genetic differences. This is allopatric speciation. <laughs> <laughs> 